The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And already we're underway here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? One of the game's best no. ever, Cristiano Ronaldo. He brings a power to whatever he does, and his unquenchable thirst for goals is always an enjoyable sideshow. It's very rare he fails to leave his mark. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Goyos. Hoists it forward. And no... That is pretty much the end of that. Oh, good interception. Goyos. Tries to get it clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. He'll hit it! Oh, shame, that was nicely worked. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Neither side yet able to find the net. Played towards the front men. Deco. And it's played forward. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Too much on it. And that's the keeper's. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Forward it goes. Chavez. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And the counter is on. Soric plays it forward. Whipped in. Defending of the desperate variety. And here's Chris. That's a pop! A skipper's goal! Well, look, captains so often feel a greater responsibility to come up with something a little extra, especially approaching the break. He knew the significance in striking before it. The dressing room moods now will be very, very different. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time, because in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. So we're already into the second period. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Forward it goes. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. 
Bitten Court plays it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Soric. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Keeps everyone guessing. Can he? Has a hit! It's in! And this is getting better and better. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Cristiano Ronaldo is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Porto grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. Cristiano Ronaldo steered forward, and once more they can't get through. Riccati. just brushed off the ball there. To Pablo Deco. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Soric Recate Recate goes upfield and it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Deco tries to get it forward quickly. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Hit into the middle. And the defence can get it clear. And that will be the final act. No joy for the...